name is Kathy Marks. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, for I come before you today a typical face of homelessness. I was born and raised in Baltimore. I graduated from three of the finest universities in this state and ultimately attained my master's degree from the University of Maryland School of Social Work in 95. I attained my clinical licensure in 97 and have been a practicing licensed clinical social worker both here and in Florida ever since. Due to a conglomerate of factors, I come before you today homeless as of January 27th of this year. Services were not available to me to prevent my homelessness, nor were they available for rapid rehousing. And trust me in this, I knocked on doors. I made a multitude of calls and I scoured the internet for services. I simply did not qualify under those programs, population prioritizations, and as such, their eligibility guidelines. After being hospitalized the day following becoming homeless, the social worker at Johns Hopkins secured me a bed at the now Pinder Hughes Women's Emergency Shelter and I began my mission to seek out permanent, affordable, safe, stable housing. I continue to run into service gaps and barriers. I currently do not meet the definition of chronic homelessness under coordinated access, and my six excruciatingly long months of homelessness is apparently six months too short for programs targeting and prioritizing chronically homeless persons, which require 12 months homeless or four episodes in three years. Like many of my homeless peers, I expected my traumatic, and yes, I thoroughly mean traumatic, delve into homelessness and shelter life to be short-lived. To my utter dismay, I heard many stories of peers who have been waiting permanent housing resources and options for upwards of five, six, even seven or more years. Coming into the shelter, I doubted my capacity to tolerate it for seven weeks. And I am a tenacious, skilled advocate for myself and for others with experience teaching positive coping mechanisms. And yet with all the trauma I had already experienced and the PTSD symptoms from past trauma raging, even more trauma was coming my way, and I literally went into shock. In the first seven weeks, I endured and survived physical assaults by two women at a transitional home that I was referred to by the administrative team. I was repeatedly discriminated against based upon my disabilities, I was lied to, harassed, and even refused entry into the emergency shelter for several days after the assaults. Sorry. Um, when the mayor's office of homeless services intervened and I was allowed back into the shelter, I continued to receive harsh treatment at the shelter, even to the point of having my medication stolen from an administration office and another time denied me for over 75 minutes. These are all pretty dehumanizing and devaluing events. And by the way, all those violations of my basic rights happened at the hands of staff and administration. However, I push on because I am reminded of two things. First, if I am going through hell, I better keep on going. And second, that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that men, all men are created equal, and they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Life. What does that mean to you? Well, did you know that the life expectancy for the average American is 77 years of age? 
while only 47 years of age for the average homeless person. A 30 year difference in mortality. And while medical and health problems may be one of several causal factors in homelessness, it is well established that, quote, prolonged homelessness harms health via stress, exposure, crowding in shelters, dietary and hygienic shortcomings, and complications to the very delivery of medical care. Liberty. At the shelter, this means you're free to be here if you follow our rules, and if you don't like what you're getting, you're free to leave it and try the street. At least that's what one administrator has told me more than once. Pursuit of happiness. My own permanent, affordable, safe, stable housing. I am pursuing that for my happiness, my liberty, my life, my dignity, my self-respect, for my health, and so that I can truly focus on the purpose God has for me. Shelter life comes with concerns of safety of person and belongings, with the disability, along with restrictions such as sign-in, curfew, and headcount. They all take away from concentration and focus to improve oneself and to be able to help others around, around you. Two critical areas in personal growth and surviving trauma. And let's face it, no one becomes homeless without trauma. I want my own permanent, affordable, safe, stable home. A home where I can purchase my own groceries, pick my own foods, cook for myself and anyone else I choose, and eat when I want to eat, not when somebody says, it's dinner time wait in line, and when I get ready, I'll serve you. A home where rodents don't run rampantly and basic fire, health, and safety measures are met. A home where I get to choose when the lights go on in the morning and off at night, and where my sleep isn't newly awakened by petty things. A home where I can feel my person and belongings are safe and secure. A home where the research doesn't show that I'm a statistic for worsening health conditions and I can work on living my healthiest rather than trying to avoid compounding health complications. A home where the only one singing loudly off key throughout the place is me. A home where I make the rules. I want a home in which I receive the dignity, respect, and basic expression of who human worth I inherently deserve as a member of the human family. A place where I can joyfully and with thanksgiving call home sweet home. <laughs>